what the hell is a framework guys we always are asking like which framework do i learn is it like angular view react javascript's always evolving it's always changing so how do you know which one which which framework to start on and kazi like when you first entered this domain what was your thoughts on that I was very confused with all, especially the web development. It was just like, I'm like, let me just do Python because Python was just Python. And then web development was like, Vue, React, Angular, this, that, that other thing. And I'm like, that seems like too much is going on. Yeah, exactly. There's a lot going on. So we're, going, we're here to clear that up for you today, guys, on what you should focus all of your attention on. So and here are the, the most, most popular. Pop Go yeah. ahead. The most right. popular ones that we're going to cover, guys, are the first one. You've probably heard of this, Angular. It's Google's uh, framework, right? So you have Google's framework. It's very popular. It, took a, it grew quite a lot, but it's sort of on the downward trend right now. And then they had Vue. Um, I'm not actually sure. Because do you know who actually came out with Vue? I'm not entirely I sure. I don't know who came yeah. out with Vue. Very lightweight uh, library, extremely sort of popular. It's very opinionated. Um, but it sort of surpassed Angular. And then the guys at Facebook just came along and just like blew everyone's <laughs> mind <laughs> with like React. Like they came along. <laughs> I love this. And slide. they just took it to a whole new level, you know? Like they, um, have, we have, have we gone to the next slide? Uh, I can we're we're on React. Oh, nice. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, this one, guys, this is by the guys over at Facebook. And this is obviously, if you're not, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and check out the last few videos and we'll clear up what React is. Um, yep. So, yeah, massive companies are using all three of these right now, yep. guys. So, you've got Airbnb, Instagram, Uber Eats, Dropbox using React. You've got Guardian, Upwork, PayPal, Sony using Angular. And then you've got Alibaba and a bunch of others using Vue. But how do yep. you know? Which one out to, to choose from these? So, like, Kazi, yep. what would you look at when you would, when you would make this decision? That's really important. I honestly, a few things I always look at, which is why I looked at Python as well. I look for simplicity and ease of use. I almost put that above so many other things, uh, yep. just because I want to know how what's the learning curve. Can I pick it up fast? And then I also look at how long is this thing here to stay. So like, is yep. it popular? Is it picked up by a lot of people? And then of course I want to look at like what companies, you know, are using it. So when I see, like, I look at the Guardian and I'm like, that's cool. But Airbnb is like more badass, you know, like Upwork yeah. is cute, but Instagram is really where it's at. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. So, I mean, I think all of them are being used by popular, but I strive for simplicity and um, something that's just, you know, popular and yeah. trending right now. Exactly. So with that said, guys, we went ahead and checked out Stack Overflow and wanted to see what the most wanted framework was. And you guys guessed it right. Whoa, it's we just broke 1000 viewers oh. concurrent. We're over 1000 viewers on YouTube. You guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Damn, it's that amazing. is amazing. Let's keep it rolling. So go ahead. Guys, so the number one most wanted framework right now is flying with React, right? So yes. it's at the top, you've got React. So, guys, there is no downfall right now to learning React. React is here to stay. You can be sure for the next five years, if you learn React, you're going to have a job, you're going to have some kind of income that will come from that. So, definitely worth investing your time. Yep. And it's the most wanted framework. Now, if yep. we go over here, you guys can see React is just flying off. And this is actually like, look, this is the real download. So this is not just some popularity. This is literally download. So take a look at this versus Angular versus Vue. And honestly, yep. a lot of the reason with Angular is because it's too, um, it's it forces you into a framework. And yep. it forces you to code a certain way. Whereas with React, it's not a framework. It's just a library. It's super lightweight. So it's plug and play. And then it's also badass. And, you know, yep. you it's pretty much just like JavaScript under the hood. Yeah. So next time you guys have that question of, should I learn Angular? Should I learn Vue? Think about this, like, visual right here. Like, Angular is going <laughs> off. React is going off the chart. <laughs> so, oh, this visual. It, oh, okay. This visual right here. Okay. I think you were talking about this visual. <laughs> Because I'm like, that other visual makes me not want to, you know. If you guys War loved it, that, drop a thumbs up. Warrior <laughs> Warrior says, this is insane. You guys are lit. We're always lit. Somebody also said, this is like watching two friends just kind of give us advice. So that's cool. Hey, I love that. It is, guys. It is two friends just giving you guys advice. Amazing. So what what is this over here? Right. So, yeah. So we talked about React. So we're going to dive a bit more into React, guys. So 
React is all about component-based design. And what that means, guys, is literally you go ahead and break a website down into different components, the header, the nav bar, the body, the text, and all like as in like the cards on Amazon, all of those things, and you basically just reuse them, right? So it's literally like once you get the hang of that, the reason why it's, it really relates here, guys, it's actually super simple. It's actually really easy to go ahead and reuse components. So get yeah. getting your head around the component-based design is crucial super if you're going to move important. into React. Now, yeah. managing data in React, like how does this work? So when it comes to managing data in Redux, this is where people start to kind of lose their shit and start going crazy. <laughs> And this is why in our clones that we make, like Amazon clone, where we use context API, where we start to introduce the idea of Redux. And we built another tutorial, I think with Spotify, where we used um, context API. So this is yeah. another concept which introduces things like data layers and you needing to understand that, which is super powerful and super valuable once you learn it. And the step-by-step -step yeah. process of learning is learn context API first, and then get into Redux and it's the easiest way to do it. Sunny, your thoughts on this? Exactly what Kazi said pretty much. So guys, well, the, minute, the minute you kind of hear about Redux and you look at tutorials for Redux, this is your reaction. It's pretty much like, oh my God, like it's kind of freaking me out and stuff. So all we're going to say here is pretty much like Kazi said, go ahead, learn the React Context API first, learn that pattern, and then picking up Redux is kind of easy. So it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a lot simpler than as if you were just jumping straight into Redux for the first time. So, so the next one, yeah, React Context API is going to be a lot easier to learn and pick up um, and if you are interested in the builds that we done, we actually went ahead and done that. So you can definitely use those as reference. Yep. And you, you know, we have a free training for you guys. It's profit with JavaScript free training. So you guys can go ahead and sign up for it at any time. We have a webinar that we've put together. It's a one hour free webinar. It's in the description below. So if you guys want to go ahead and check that out, definitely go ahead and sign up for it because it just gives you the exact roadmap to, you know, here we're diving deep into the front end developer guide in your roadmap. In that one, we're talking about how are you gonna go from your zero dollars to making $100,000. Whether you do that in one year, three years, or five years, it's really the roadmap to learning the coding skills and the practicality of your first $100,000. So I put that in the description below. Click that link and then sign up for that training. It's freaking awesome. Definitely go check that out, guys. Free value, so definitely worth checking out. Now, I included this one because I have a lot of people who do ask about something called MobX, right? I had a question about it before. Uh, it's basically another uh, opinionated version of like managing data within a React app. Honestly, my, my viewpoint here is if anyone has this question, go ahead and use React Context API and then Redux. If you want to do this, it's just kind of a cool thing to learn, but honestly, if you want to land a job, Redux is the way to go. Got it. And now check out the live bills that we have free on YouTube, all right? So Bruce Buffer is endorsing us apparently. And over here, you can see we got the Zoom clone. I mean, I know it's really hard for you guys to see, but we got the Zoom clone that we made recently. We made a Spotify clone for you guys. We made the TikTok clone. Uh, that's, at you know, in six days, we have uh, over 117,000 people watch that one. And a lot Same. of them built it out. We built a YouTube clone for you guys. So you can see the exact front end design for YouTube. And then we also did the Tinder clone and then yeah. a bunch of more stuff. So go ahead and guys, like that's all there for free on YouTube. So make sure you get value from that as well. Exactly. And guys, if, you were, if you've watched any of these and you found value from that, just all we ask is you smash the thumbs up button and that's enough for us. We, to we get break, the, break the thumbs up button. Exactly. Now, awesome. okay.